welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode. So since the day you download this game, since the first time you ever play it, many of us dream of having a maxed out base. Well, I am about to close in on that dream, guys, for the first time ever, since I downloaded this game almost two years ago this week, I will officially be maxed out for defenses. This is the final defense left inside of my Town Hall 11. It is a single archer tower, which requires 9 million gold. Of course, I have 8.6 million inside of my storage. We need less than 400k. Hopefully, we can get it from a single life raid, which we will do in a few seconds time. So stay tuned, guys. It is official. Inside of this episode, I will max out my final Town Hall 11 defense. So of course, although I will have maxed out Town Hall 11 defenses, the journey to a max base will still continue. We need to make sure all of those nine walls become level 10. All of the level 10, of course, have to go to level 11. We need to upgrade the heroes, the traps, and a couple of spells. That being said, guys, there is a new update coming out in a couple of weeks' time, and you never know, we could even get some new defenses, some new level walls, and make sure you stay tuned, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. For those of you that don't know, my name is General Tony, and we produce videos on a daily basis. Look at all that loot. Okay, guys, so we are about to gem ourselves up a live army. Then we are hopefully going to be going in for the final live attack. This could be it. This could be the one raid which secures me a maxed out Town Hall 11 for defenses only. So let's see what we need to do. We need to gem the queen. She's going to cost six gems. The Grand Warden's ready. The spells are ready. Let's get ourselves into a live attack. I didn't even realize I was at 2,500 trophies about two hours ago. I decided to, you know, make sure that this episode was going to go out today. So I started farming and I pushed up like five. 500 trophies so quickly when you're a town hall 11 and you're inside of the like you know the masters league you just get a, an insane amount of trophies and it's almost impossible to stay below like three and a half k trophies it's so hard so we're going to scout some bases see if we can find a single base worth just under half a million loot so we'll be back in a second's time stay tuned Wow, okay, check this out. We've just landed on this Town Hall 11. There is over half a million gold elixir and a great amount of dark elixir inside of this base. Now, I'm not going to lie to you and say it's easy. This is definitely far from easy for a Town Hall 11, guys. But we're going to take it on. I cannot let this base slip. I'm going to go for it. Hopefully, we can destroy it. Let's just wait and see what happens. So, we're actually going to be dropping the Earthquake spells in a way whoa 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 check this out this is quite a good base design it's a very good base design in fact so we're gonna go for the eagle artillery i want to try and get that out of the way as quick as i can to ensure that hopefully we can secure at least enough gold so that we can upgrade the archer tower dreams will be coming true at the end of this raid and i will max out my final town hall 11 defense so we're going to start this off by picking away some extra percentage points of course i do want a 70 percent attack on the base to make sure I get a 100% loot bonus. So there goes the final archer. And now we're going to move in with the actual attack itself, guys. It's going to be the standard giant healer. And, of course, wizard. And there are some, uh, what are they called, bowlers inside of this battle. So there we go, guys. Everything is getting chucked down inside of the base. There goes the first rage spell. Going to drop the poison spell just ahead. Hopefully, we can take out that first the multi target inferno tower. We're going to use the king's ability gal, guys. There we go. First one has been taken out. Second multi target inferno tower on the other side of the field, but we need this eagle artillery to go down. There we go, it's finally dropping. We're gonna keep the free spell, guys. The uh, the troops are coming from the top here, so hopefully this inferno tower is gonna be frozen shortly. We're gonna pop the queen's ability before she gets taken out. There goes the free spell onto the inferno tower, and of course that expo, guys. We are up to 56% so far. We didn't manage to grab the town hall, but we have three of the. Uh, Hold on, no, we have two of the three gold storages. Sorry, two of the four gold storages. I'm not sure if we will secure the loot we require, guys. 8,880,000 gold so far. We need a decent loot bonus. Oh, are we going to get it? Check it out. Let's see. Yes, we done it, guys. Just over 9 million gold inside of our storages, meaning dreams come true and we can upgrade the final larger tower. So if you've made it this far into the episode and want to show some support to the channel, do me a favor, guys, and leave a like down below to celebrate that Tony has finally got max level defenses inside of this game, inside of my base. Of course, this is perfect timing. The update is out in maybe one to two weeks time. There's going to be so many new features. Hashtag dreams come true. Comment hashtag dreams come true in that comment section. Let me know if you're working towards a max level base. There is the final Archer Tower. We are down to 9,000 gold. But of course, we no longer have a single defense left to max out. So check this out, guys. If we go to removal, let's just lay out all our defenses right here in front of you. So there are, of course, seven 
of these beautiful, what are they, level level 14 cannons. So we've got seven cannons inside of our camps there. We've got two archer towers, both of which are upgrading. Then there are another six, so a total of eight maxed out. They are new as well, level 14 archer towers. we got, of course, five level nine wizard towers. I've got a feeling there could be a level 10 wizard tower coming into the game, but I'm not too sure about that. I've just got a feeling that could happen. We have, of course, the four new maxed out level 9 miners. Sorry, not miners, mortars. We got the four Teslas. You never know, we could see a new level to the Tesla. They have been level 8 for such a long time. We got the four Expos, the level 4 Expos. And then, of course, the new level 4 Inferno Towers and the Air Sweepers. And the final defense, the best one of the lot, guys, the Eagle Artillery. So there it is. 100% maxed out base. Sorry, 100% maxed out defenses. We are still working towards a 100% maxed out base. So we've got three builders free and we are currently upgrading our, uh, our lightning spell inside of the actual research center. So check it out. For those of you wondering, we have maxed out every single one of our elixir and our dark elixir troops. The only elixir spell left to max out is the lightning spell. Once it goes to level six, I will send it straight to level seven. It will be official. We will have 100% maxed out elixir spells. Then the only thing remaining inside of my entire base to max out for spells and troops is of course the four dark elixir spells, which do need a bit of work. So we're gonna spend that four million elixir. We're gonna upgrade another one of these walls. So we're gonna do the edge ones first. So let's just spend three million gold, sorry, three million elixir, sending one of those level nine walls to level 10. Now we actually have 165,000 dark elixir as well. We could upgrade the queen and we could also upgrade the king. One or the other, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. We're gonna work towards a maxed out storage I am then going to upgrade one of the heroes, but I'm feeling to do a gem spree, guys. So, of course, for those of you that do not know, we've just hit 700,000 subscribers on the channel. And we are going to do a massive gem spree to celebrate, but I'm going to wait for the update to launch. So, it's either going to be the 700k gem spree or the 750k gem spree. Just depends how many subs we are on at the point of the update being launched. Hopefully, we will be spending somewhere in the region of 50 to 60,000 gems. We are going to work towards those max out level heroes and it is going to be a very interesting month on the channel. So do me a favor guys, if this is the first time you are seeing me and you do want to get some content on a daily basis, we do two videos every single day. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the video guys and of course hopefully keep yourselves entertained. So we're going to gem ourselves another army. We are going to get ourselves into one final live attack. And then we may come back and upgrade one of the heroes. Maybe I've changed my mind. Just stay tuned and see what happens. So there will be a second episode coming in a couple of hours time. And I'm actually going to try something I've never tried before on the channel. Now I got this idea from Mystic7. He's done it a couple of times. And what he's basically done is he's gone to the top player in the world. If I just show you that right now, guys. What he's done before is he's gone to the top player. And he's obviously gone and scouted their base. And he's basically copied their army. So the most popular army right now seems to be miners, wall breakers. But some people also bring some goblins. Now, I'm not sure why they bring goblins. I think the world, uh, what is it? The world number two and the world three and four actually all had goblins inside of their, uh, their actual camps, guys. Let me see if it was the world number two. I believe some of them had goblins inside of there. Yeah, check it out. For some reason, some of them bring five goblins and a couple of wizards. It's a very interesting strategy, and I think I'm actually going to try out, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel. But of course, let's get ourselves into another live attack, guys. Going to gem the king, the queen, and the grand warden. These guys are sucking up my gems. Don't forget, if you do want to get yourself some free gems, there will be a link to Cash Fraps in the description box, guys. Make sure you can use it just in time for the update. So here we go. Moving our way towards 3k trophies. I think we were about to hit 3k. The loot down here inside of the Masters League, I'm not going to lie. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't even want to move up back towards champions, but it just happens. I cannot stay down here. It's too easy to get trophies. And it's literally impossible to lose defenses sometimes. I mean, my defense, although it's a troll base, it is one like five of eight defenses, which is pretty insane considering it's a troll base and it's so easy to beat. So another massive amount of loot inside of this base. You know what? We're going to go for this, guys. Now, I'm feeling that we could possibly grab the actual Dark Elixir, maybe even the Eagle Artillery and all the, uh, the actual Town Hall in the center there. But I'm not sure what's going to happen. So we're just going to go for it and see if we can play our luck, guys. So there we go. Grand Warden Queen. There go a couple of wall breakers. Obviously, we're going to hold some back, guys, and hope that we can actually destroy 
The, uh, there we go, going to go for the wall, just the wall that I wanted them to hit. So here we go, guys. Wall breakers making their way into the center. There goes the rage spell. We're going to pop the Grand Warden's ability shortly. Actually, you know what? We're going to keep it. There we go. Now we're going to use it just hopefully in time for the eagle artillery so it doesn't look like the troops are going to funnel into the center which is unfortunate very unfortunate indeed but we're going to drop the free spell on the eagle artillery hopefully keep it down for a second check that air bomb chasing my healers there the air bomb is hunting down my healers there goes the king's ability can the queen swing into the center and take the town hall yes she can that is why i love you queen queen is going to secure me the town hall you know what she may be cheeky and go for the dark elixir oh my god check it out guys she could go for the Dark Elixir here. Yes, she's going to do it. That is beautiful. That is why I love the Queen. Where are you going? Nope, she's gone for the Eagle Artillery instead. I don't know why she's done that, but we're going to take it out. Hopefully, we can then go onto the Dark Elixir and not the actual Clan Castle. Yes, we can. Dark Elixir storage is falling. Look at that, guys. That was, that was a great turnaround. So, we actually managed to uh, funnel into the center there and grab ourselves some great loot. So, the Queen's about to go down. Doesn't quite get the Clan Castle, but it doesn't matter. We're going to end the raid there, 66%. Check out that loot, guys. A great amount of Dark Elixir. And, of course, the episode is going to end here. So, if you've made it all the way to the end of the video, comment hashtag dreams come true in that comment section. Leave a like down below and stay tuned for the second video. I will see you shortly. Have a great Sunday, guys. Peace out.